Hey guys, Lieutenant here with another video in the Anki add-on guide series. Today I want to cover three add-ons which can greatly streamline the way you add tags to your notes. And the three add-ons I want to cover are the Editor Tag Hotkeys add-on, the Add Cards Tag Selector add-on, and also the Tag Entry Enhancements add-on. Each of these have their specific use case and I want to go over all of these in this video. They're also all available on Anki web, so make sure to check out the links in the description below to uh, find their installation links as soon as you're done watching this video. So the first add-on I want to showcase is the editor tag hotkeys add-on. What this does pretty much is just add a number of user-defined hotkeys to the editor window that you can use to toggle specific tags whenever you need them. So let me drop the add window here first and uh, also so show the add-on description. So as you can see, you can define a number of tags right here and assign them to specific hotkeys. So for instance, you could assign the Alt plus Shift plus one hotkey to the anatomy tag and Alt plus Shift plus two to physiology. Having done that, when using the add card screen, you can then just use these hotkeys to quickly toggle the uh, corresponding tags in here, down here, without having to go back into the tags field and typing these in manually which can save quite a lot of time if you have a specific number of tags that you just use over and over again in your notes. For instance, tags that apply to a specific subject like anatomy or histology, etc. This add-on also comes with a feature called the unique tag list down here. So you can define a number of hotkeys and a number of tags that are unique, which means that whenever you try to tag the note with, the, uh, with a different hotkey in that list, then all other instances of that tag will of that list um, will be deleted. To showcase this right here, we've got the Alt plus Shift plus um, three hotkey assigned to the Lecture A tag, and we've got the Alt plus Shift plus four hotkey assigned to the tag Lecture B. And these are set up as unique tags. So whenever I toggle the Lecture A hotkey, then the Lecture B toggle or other lecture B tag will be deleted. So you can quickly switch between these two. So um, this can be useful for any type of tag that only appears one at a time, time on your notes. It might be a tag that is specific to a subject or something else. The way you can customize all of this is by just going into tools, add-ons, highlighting the hotkeys, the tag hotkeys entry here, clicking on edit, and there is a user configuration section at the top of the add-on where you can place all of these uh, custom hotkey definitions and custom tags. It's pretty easy to use. You can read through the, uh, the add-on description for more information on how this works, but it's pretty easy. You just have to supply a hotkey and double quotes, then after the colon, another um, the tag here in another series of uh, double quotes. So it's pretty easy to configure and you can set up as many of these hotkeys as you like. So if you've got a lot of um, tags that you reuse across your notes, no problem, this add-on will be able to handle that as well. All right, let's go over to the next add-on, which is somewhat more flashy and somewhat more, um, maybe somewhat easier to use than this one, and it's the Add Cards Tag Selector add-on. This adds a new sidebar to your um, editor window where you can choose from a certain number of custom-defined uh, tags. So you can just type, type in any tag you'd like in these fields and that tag from now on will then be available to toggle just by clicking on these uh, check mark buttons here. So instead, once again, instead of having to go into the tags field and typing these things in manually, you can just go here, click on any of these check buttons, check mark buttons, and then um, those tags will appear on your note. And this will also persist across multiple nodes and also when re-entering the add card screen you see that these settings are saved so the tags here will always be saved i would use this um for i can i mean first of all this is useful if you don't want to handle uh, your tags with your uh, keyboard that much if you're more of a mouse person then this has some advantages over the editor tag hotkey add-on and that you can just use it by clicking on the interface here but the also also the other advantage is that you can change the tags here on the fly without having to editing without having to edit the source code as is the case for the editor tag hotkey add-on so what i use this for 
is some less permanent tax uh, tax that might be um, similar in that specific session that I might reuse a lot in one specific Anki session, but which I might not reuse a lot across different sessions. So I would use, for instance, so for instance, I would use the editor tag hotkey add-on to define tags for subjects such as anatomy, histology, etc. that just occur again and again and again. And I would use this here for more specific tags, for instance, about a specific disease that might just reoccur when adding notes about one specific lecture, for instance. All right, so that's the add cards tag selector. Um, add-on you can customize this as well. There are multiple configuration options. Options You can change how many of these fields should appear in here. You can change how wide they should be, etc. All of that is documented, first of all, in uh, in the text here, but it's also there's also a fantastic um, instruction video by the add-on author, which is also linked to in the add-on description. So make sure to check that out to find out how to use this add-on. Okay, so the last, last add-on I wanted to cover is the Tag Entry Enhancements add-on. This is a more of a workflow uh, add-on. It just changes some very small things really about the tag entry, but these small things can be quite important over time. It's also a thing of preference, so this is not meant for everyone. The thing this add-on mostly does is just improve the keyboard navigation when using the tag entry field. If you're more of a mouse person, then this probably won't be as useful. But what this does, for instance, is that it adds the ability to confirm a um, the first suggested tag when using enter. So, for instance, if I type in anatomy, then I can just hit enter for that tag to be applied. Usually, when using the regular tag field, you would have to go down using one of the arrow buttons and then hit enter to confirm that choice, which can be annoying over time. So that's why um, you can use a return or enter with this add-on. The other thing you can do is you can use control plus tab to actually move through the different suggestions in the uh, drop-down box here, which is also a new feature. And um, it also allows you to invoke the tag suggestion, suggestion box by using the arrow keys. So just a very small number of uh, smaller improvements to the tag entry screen. But once again, small things like this can really have an impact over time. So that's why I wanted to present this. If you're um, someone who uses the keyboard a lot to switch through your fields, navigate through them, then I think this add-on will greatly enhance the way you add text to your notes. All right, guys, that's as far as this video was concerned. Um, the next one will be covering some more um, general workflow things about the note creation process. I want to cover how to create notes more quickly, uh, more quicker by just uh, saving, saving some steps when using the uh, add cards user interface. And there are quite a few add-ons that can re really help you with that. I hope you guys will tune in, tune back in for the next video. Make sure to stay subscribed so you get notified of the next upload. Until then, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope I'll see you soon and uh, good luck with your studies. Bye.